Heavy. <sighs> Leah is having trouble getting sales at her tea shop because people prefer the bubble tea than her cultured type of tea. Which means if her business ain't doing well, she's gonna be having trouble paying the bills too. She was told her sister is getting married and she had to meet her family she left few years back to start her business. The family was so happy to see her again. They invited a fortune teller as the culture demanded who told Leah that she must go on five blind dates before the wedding or she remains single forever. The family decides to help her get a date, each with their own blind date candidate. At the bachelorette party, Leah met Richard, her ex-boyfriend, back home before she left for the city. Unfortunately or maybe fortunately Richard is the groom bestman, while Leah is the bridesmaid and they had to work together, which Leah wasn't comfortable with. Leah seems overwhelmed with everything going on with her and drank heavily. Wake up the next morning, standing on Richard's stomach. Oh my God. <laughs> no, not what you think, they actually didn't do it. Leah was too drunk, Richard not knowing where to take her, brought her to his lodge, though Leah was embarrassed. She went on the first date, a rich businessman, set by her dad, which totally sucks because he doesn't believe in love and thinks everything is business, including relationship. As to she had to go on the dates or she remained single for life and might actually be her ticket to reviving her business, she told her best friend to fix her up ready for the next date, set by her mom, her high schoolmate, who was also a teacher in her mother's school. It was going well, they felt a bit of connection and they kissed. Uh, I don't usually do this until like the second day. Some traditions are made to be broken. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jing. Wait, what? Did he just call her mother's name while kissing her? Oh, Jing. It appears he is in love with Leah's mother, who is the principal of his school. Leah was so pleased. She went on the third date, which was arranged by her sister, a meditator. She met Richard on the date with his date, too. Leah was a bit jealous of Richard's date because Richard was about to rub a sunblock on his date. Wait, did she just- oh. oh! Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry! Well, the meditator handled it well, while Richard was watching. He also helped Leah overcome her fear of water with his charm. And Leah kissed him but Leah wasn't totally into him because he was too sweet to be true. Richard was jealous, Leah and Richard argued about how Richard left her when they were supposed to start a business together, Richard might have said something he shouldn't have. Leah was angry, wouldn't accommodate him to at her shop. Even though they had to work together, she went to her sister's wedding clothes fitting with her family, they all talk about Leah's relationship. Also found out Leah's business wasn't doing well, and the fact that Leah's second date love her mother. They argued about their relationship to each other, they hurt each other with words. Also Leah was given a quick notice of eviction and all that probably messed Leah up. That she lashed out at a man who asked her about her D while videoing her on live stream, which made her a popular crazy D lady in the whole of Australia. Well, that might have had a nice impact on her business because people now wants to know how her tea taste. She came to certain realization and went to her sister's wedding, apologized to each other. I'm so sorry about your dress. I've been so rotten. You were right. And also realized while giving her wonderful speech that the man of her dream was right in her front all along. So she went after Richard and also learned that Richard doesn't just left her then but had to tend to his sick mother. They kissed and move on to their happy endings.